I'm here to celebrate my boss lady, Mama Recha. She's the eldest in my team, so I respect her so much. And I have so much uh, respect for her for even taking the bold step and, you know, jumping on this business where so many people think it's for young people that's viola, but no. She's proven to you guys all that this business is for everybody. It has no age limit. So I'm here to celebrate her. Today she made one year in our company. It's a blessing to have you on board, Mama. Hey, and you deserve some celebration. When some people give up within a couple months. Hey. Welcome, guys. I'm here to celebrate my business partner. I celebrate everybody. generation that is in their 40s and above or 50s and above she's amazing hey she doesn't know i'm here to celebrate her i didn't let her know i just jump on here hey that's right flora thank you for connecting me with mama reja hey thank you diamond Thank you, Michael, for wishing Mama Reja a happy one year anniversary in our business. It's not easy. So you know what? We have to recognize it and, and honor them. Anybody that lasts a year, I have to recognize and honor them. Because we all know online marketing is not easy. Hey, many people get discouraged easily and they check out. Hey. Celebrate! I have a dance 
in a while, so I'm here to dance. But I need songs that are very sukun. The Rio Grande is sukun, 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 sukun. No slow music. No slow music. Don't buy a new car. I'm buy telling you guys. Hey, so hey, 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 she hey, really came to fly with her business. You guys See, won't believe it. She had everything she needed before. New ones and know it's before six months. Up, but we had to wait for six months. Their customers. And what most people don't know is they sell their <laughs> Play your sugar song. <laughs> I wish I could not come live, but I appreciate That's okay, that's okay, Mama. I know, but thank you, thank you. I just fell in my heart. I said, I gotta come and celebrate. Because I sit here and I'm thinking, how many people do we have in our team? And how many people are actually running with their business? You know, and honestly, for you to even make it a year and more, <laughs> to make it a year or more in this business, and it takes a lot. It, it means that you know you budget. have a strong right the belief, to be and you're somebody and that when you make up your mind, you put your mind into you want to do something, you're gonna do it, regardless of what people will say about your age, about what. You just come here on the social media and just educate people, and this is what we need in our community: more people to be bold enough to come and educate people, because people don't listen to me. They think I'm a little girl. What do I know about life? What do I know about the future? I'm just a little kid. But when we have somebody, you know, around your age, speaking to them, maybe they will understand and believe it and say, you know what? If she can do it and she's, you know, she's above, she's in her 50s, I can do it too. So we're so happy that you're part of us and you're, you're inspiring, you know, your generation. You're, you're letting them know, wake up. Wake up. We can be, we need, we're about to retire. We can't be working for the rest of our life. Therefore, we need a plan B, and you are just doing that. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. Happy one year anniversary. Happy one year anniversary. I'm so excited to have you in our team and inspire your generation or even the younger generation. Anybody 18 and up? Guys, let's not let our age put us down not to elevate. Age is just a number. We're supposed to do good for ourselves. We're supposed to, you know, do things that can actually benefit us. Yes. Thank you, Diamond. After this song, I'm going to break it down, okay? Matakarabu. Get it, be right. So happy one year anniversary. Cheers to many more years to come and that your wish will come to pass that even when you retire, you're going to be working smart, chilling somewhere and still running your business and, and living life and enjoying it, knowing that you're working smart. So thank you for making that choice and joining Flora, even when Flora had no clue where this business is taking her. She joined a month later, you jump on board and you join her. Here you are today in the level five of the company, qualifying senior sales coordinator. The leadership position, guys, is halfway there to knock down to the top. So it's very close, it's halfway there. So in just a year, imagine two years to come, three years to come, where all of us will be. So keep it up and let's continue to inspire as many people as we can around the world. This is a ministry, it's a gospel of health that has been neglected. We don't talk about wealth, we don't talk about health. We are so, we neglect that department. So we need to bring it out and keep preaching to everybody that health is wealth and that we need to be healthy and we need to also be wealthy and work smart. So this is our ministry, guys. This is a ministry to also help other people discover themselves, you know, to know that there's so much in them that they can do. Hey! That's right, Mafi Haja Bigasi Allah. Hallelujah, Mafi Haja Bigasi Allah. Hey, Mafi This is somebody who went to bed at 5 a.m., guys, and I was up by 10 o'clock. Hey. Teamwork, teamwork, a 
and we thank your team members for believing in you and jumping on board with you even when they don't know where the train ride was going. Eh? Mafia Chapigasiana. Eh? Hallelujah. Mafia Chapigasiana. Eh? Hallelujah. Mafia Chapigasiana. Eh? Mafia Chapigasiana. Welcome, Mama Achan. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mama. Hey, 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 hey. Mafia Jabigasi Alata. Please help me share this broadcast. Give me thumbs up, bring those hearts coming. Share ya. Hey, hello, boo. And I'm here to help somebody, and I don't care. I don't care what you, who you are, but I know that you can do it. Because there's a power in our mind that if we put ourselves, if we put our mind that we're going to do something, we are going this to do it. It is all in our head. And we have to challenge that. We have to channel that. We got to challenge that in order to become our reality. We got to start speaking and then say, I am going to be somebody. I'm going to go out there. If you're looking to give your life to Christ, it has to come from your head. It is, it's like, it's a, it's a mindset. You know, when you touch the Holy Spirit and you're on fire for Jesus, you have to start saying, you know what? Because if you don't keep that fire burning, the fire will die. So what does that mean? It requires your mindset. You have to say, I am here to walk with Christ. I'm not here to give up. I'm here to go to the end. Because if you start speaking those things to yourself, you know, before you know it, the devil comes in and says, oh, who does she think she is? Oh, I know you used to clap. Who do you think you're preaching to? But when you practice your minds and they say, I'm going to do it. Even if people say, I used to clap, but now I'm serving God. I'm going to do it. But if you don't practice that, if you don't speak to yourself, you know before you know it, you stop preaching the word of God to people. Because somebody said you were on the street. Who do you think you are? Do you think you're going to change me? But when you start telling yourself, I can do it. I'm going to do this. God changed my life and I'm going to change someone's life. It's just like that. And it's the same with our ministry. I have people that will say, thank you, Viola. I did not have so much in me, and now I do. And this is a ministry. And I say this from day one, that this is a ministry. This is a calling. Because it's not easy to do this business. And within a year, fly in the levels, have nine leaders in the business. It's not easy, but it's the work of God. So I'm here to believe in everybody that if I can do it, you can do it. I'm a living testimony. 
that anything is possible it's all in our minds we have to change our mindset and we have to start speaking good things of our life before we know it everything is going according all right so let's continue hey for too long people get bored so i just give you guys the fire and i'm out okay i just came here to celebrate my boss lady all the way from edmonton if you're in edmonton please link up if you're in your 50s you don't want to be under viola or you're in your 40s and you think viola's too young she has so much energy i don't think i can keep up with her please message mama Raja and say ah i heard you're in the business so please i need to be under you because i'm so shy I don't think I can get along with Viola. You know, she's young. You know, our people are so scared of age. You guys, please. There's 92 years old in our business. Who's in level five? She's a QSSC in the business. 92 years old. 
and you're here, you're just 40, you're complaining. Oh, I don't think I can do this business. <laughs> Viola is too much on Facebook. Ah, don't you want to change lives? Hmm? If we all can learn to inspire each other, we will have a better place. We will not have no, you know, issues because we are all sharing information that can help us. We will not be in trouble. Sometimes you see your sister, you know she's about to sign up for that car loan that her interest is going to be 40%. And you know the interest is 40%. Means she'll be paying for that car by the time she's done paying that car loan. Her income is, you know, her bill is 10 times than what she bought the car for. So instead of you, you know, sharing the knowledge, you know, with your sister and say, ah, my sister, I have gotten a car before. 40,000 interest. And all the money has been going to the interest. So I'm just saving you. Please go and search another dealership. Do your research. Take somebody that, you know, knows about cars with you. Go. If we learn to share, all of us will not be in debt. All of us will not be, you know, trapped in a, in, in a hole that we can come out. Why? Because nobody shared information with us. And don't be shy. You know, if you need information, post a question. Say, hey, guys, just doing a car shopping. What do you guys think? You will find so many people jump on and help you. Unless... The people also have the mindset of not helping somebody. Hmm? This mindset, we need to let it go. And I will keep preaching that we need to learn to sharing is caring. When you share with others, it's a blessing. You know, like I said, I always share opportunities. Like when I got a job for working, making boxes in Amazon a couple of years ago in 2018, um, I got it through about staffing. If you guys don't know what is about staffing, it's an agency in Calgary that you go there and then they send you out for jobs. I went and applied and I got the job. Do you guys know that I didn't keep the opportunity to myself? Because they were hiring and they were looking for people. I just came when I got hired. The same day I posted on my Facebook, I posted in our church group, if there was anybody looking for a job, they should go and apply. Or I told a few of my uh, friends, uh, you know, few of uh, one of the girls, she came, she went there, she applied, they hired her. She brought all her entire family, they all worked there. You know, just me getting hired in that place from one Sudanese person to 14 Sudanese people working there. That is the power of sharing opportunity. And I even got a note, uh, a card from about staffing saying, thank you so much for... Uh, you know, thank you so much for uh, giving opportunity to other people. You know, imagine just even getting getting a note of say thank you so much for giving the opportunity to other people as well. From one Sudanese person to 14 Sudanese people ended up, we all ended up cashing out working in Amazon. We did like three months contract and was good pay. You know, so that is the power of sharing. So for me, I've always shared. Nobody can tell me that I'm only sharing because it's juice plus. I've always shared before I knew Juice Plus. That is my nature. And Juice Plus, now that I know Juice Plus, is even bonus, giving opportunity for people who can't go for work. You know, if you put your mind in this business, I'm not saying come and be rich. Come with a heart that you're coming for the five years where you see yourself in the next five years. Now you come today and you want to see $10,000. You want to see $5,000. You want to see $3,000. You're not even wanting to see 200 or even 100. You want, you're aiming for higher. You will collapse. You need to come in into this kind of business. You come in with a mindset. You're coming to grow. You're coming to, you know, you're coming to take the baby step and, and be able to walk through the every step. Everybody that has come in the business now, they are going through the same steps I have walked through. I came in with no promises. Nobody told me I'm going to be making this money. I'm going to be this. Nobody told me nothing. I came in and I look at our conversation plan. I said, what do I need to go to Partner Plus? And I looked what I needed for Partner Plus. Hey, the way I call Juice Plus every day, I'm like, you know what? When is my promotion? How many points do I need? Hey, these people know me in head office. I was just what new in the company, maybe two months old. But I was fighting for my first promotion. And hey, you need 1,200 points. I went and hustled and I got 1,200 points. Bam, knocked my promotion in February. I said, okay, what do I need for the next one? What do I need to go to QSE? And they're like, you need this much points and you need, you need to start building your business. Bam, I look at it and I say, I'm going to do it. And I went and I got it. Bam, bam, you know, I start moving level to level, level to level, level to level. You need to be hungry. If you're not hungry, 
you know what? You will continue complaining that there's no opportunities because you're not hungry. If, if you're hungry for something, you will put the effort. So all I can say, this is a great opportunity that we're giving for anybody, especially my sisters, my single mothers, because I'm a single mother. Me and you, I am not leaving you guys, my single mothers. Those who are married, maybe I will sympathize a little because the husband is bringing income, she's bringing income. Maybe I will be easy on you guys, but my single mothers, we don't have no husband or nobody is giving us money left and right to pay our bills every month. So we need to find ways to elevate. We need to be able to say, you know what? Yes, I'm a single mother, but single mother is not a disability not to work. It is not a disability not to work. And I'm going to go and put in the effort and work. I don't care what job I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. And this is why I don't leave you guys because I am in the same boot as you. I'm a single mother. And if a single mother is elevating, I want another single mother to elevate. I want you to grow. I want you to say, I did it. Years later, we'll look back and say, we did it for our kids. You know, when our kids are going to private school, when our kids are you know, driving the nicest car, we're gifting them on their 19th birthday, not just free. They got to perform good. They got to do good in school. I'm not giving my child no car until they actually graduate and they got great, good grades. If my son did good on his 19th birthday, I will give him a car and I'll say, I did it. And we will say, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Huh? When our kids come and say, mom, mom I'm so proud of you. You know, like one of the ladies said, her daughter told her, Mom, I'm so proud of you. Imagine that. Her daughter came and told her. She's a single mother like me too. Angela, shout out to you. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. You're a nurse and you're doing Juice Plus International, International Marketing Director. I'm so proud of you. Her daughter told her, Mom, I'm proud of you. We do... We want to elevate for the next generation. We want to leave a legacy behind. We want to make sure that when we go, when our time comes, our kids are not suffering. We have left them something. So they can say, my mom worked hard. Even though when people mocked her, even though when people say she's a single mother, but she worked hard for us and she left us something behind. She left us a house behind. She left us a car behind. She left us a saving behind. We need to have that. Wake up, wake up. I'm not leaving all of you guys. All my single mothers, you're on my throat. I am not leaving you guys because I'm in your shoes. I cannot speak for them, for the women that are married because I'm not married myself. So marriage is not my department. You can't come to me for advice for marriage because my own, my own failed. <laughs> so me, I'm here for my single mothers. This is, I'm not giving up on you guys. You keep watching me every day and you're living, you're going to work tired. You're going to work, you're tired. Every day you're tired and you're still not seeing your money because you have to pay childcare. You have to pay this. No, so, some of us, we're not on child support. Our, the father of the kids is not on child support. Everything is on you. You're the mother, you're the father. Everything your child needs depends on you. You only have one job. Maybe now you say, okay, I need another job. You're killing yourself. That job is still will not be enough. You need something that you have to start working smart. And this is the perfect platform. This company, this Juice Plus, it allows us to rewrite our story, guys. Imagine, I am going from nobody to somebody. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock, we have an event, our, our Western region event for Canada. I'm going to be sharing my testimony as a single mother. What is my journey like? Imagine that. Going from nobody to somebody, to being valued, to being able to share your story with other people. Imagine that. On August 7, I'm going to be speaking. I'm going to share my journey, share my story in front of 8,000 to 15,000 people that are going to be tuning into that Zoom and watching. Imagine, this is somebody who's nobody. I am nobody. But this company, it has given me the opportunity to rewrite my story, to know that I am somebody, that I can do it, that nothing is impossible as long as I am willing to put the effort, as long as I'm willing to be consistent, as long as I'm willing to put behind every negativity, anything that would drag me down, as long as I'm willing to put all that behind, that I can be somebody. And I want you, I know you have a powerful story, that you can rewrite, that you can flip that book 
up again and that you can rise up above from nobody to somebody, from nothing to something, that you can also do the same. If I can do it, you can do it. There's nothing impossible. We live in a land of opportunities. That is a fact. Unless you're not out there to look for the opportunity, then you will not see the opportunity. But we're living in land of opportunities. A land that can allow us to also do better for ourselves. We just need to have faith. We need to believe in ourselves. And we need to step out of our hiding shell. So many of you guys have talents, have gifts. But you're keeping your gifts to yourself because you're, you're just too much community. I'm tired of what society is going to say. Do you guys know if, if gossip can give me max? Do you guys know that I would have, I would have max all over my body? Gossip don't give people no mark. Why should you hold yourself behind from becoming a better person just because you're scared of the next neighbor, you're scared of the community, you're scared of the society, you're scared of this, just stop. Say, I don't care about anybody. I care about my family wealth, I care about my family health, and I'm going to step up and I'm going to rise up and I'm going to do better. I'm going to prove to my kids that mommy got you. We can do this, guys. If I can do it, you guys can do it. I'm a testimony. Many of you guys have watched my journey. So many of you guys have watched me from 2019 to today. This is nothing that I'm making up, but you've watched me grow. You've watched me become into the woman I am today. Right here on this life, right here on this Facebook, every single day. You guys watch how far I have come. And if I can come this far, what makes you think you cannot come this far? What makes you think you cannot come this far? Yes, you can come this far. You can do it. You can do it. And even if you're married to the married housewives, full-time housewives, who said just because you're married, before your husband married you, you had a job, you were working. Now your husband married you. Pew! You collapse, completely forgot about yourself. You don't think about bringing income in the house. You're busy cooking good food. You're busy doing this. A man needs a helper. You're supposed to be there. You know, do something. Yes, if you can't go to work, there's so many online opportunities these days. You search for one that works for you and do it. Just because you're a housewife, it doesn't mean you can't bring income in the house. And guess what? You still have to build your empire. You still have to say, hey, babe, I got this 50%. I got, you know, you know I got $10,000. Let's put this together. Let's buy a house. Let's do this. Be productive as well be able to contribute in the house just because you're, you're a housewife doesn't mean that you can't do. what if your husband for god's sake i'm not saying your husband will die today what if something happened to your husband what are you going to do what are you going to do because you spend your entire life staying at home housewife and you wonder why your husband is busy there because you've made yourself completely relying on him. Don't, be an, uh, don't, don't become disabled. You're not disabled. You'll be able to also build the empire. If anything happens to any of you guys, you know that you're secured. You know that you're secured. Just because you're a housewife, it doesn't mean that you can't work. That's not true. You, yes, you can. And if it's the childcare is hard, that's okay. Find online marketing. Nowadays, everything is online. So many online opportunities. You just have to find the right one and put your mind in it. And when I say find the right one, something that you actually see, you see the future in it. Not something that you don't see nothing. Or you don't see nothing. You've spent two years, three years, and still you're not seeing anything. Nothing. Find something that works and water it. Just like I found Juice Plus and I'm not going to join any other businesses. I don't care how many offers are thrown on me. Just plus changed me. Just plus made me who I am today. I have so much loyalty to this company. That means I found what works for me. And guess what? I'm going to be one of those people that 30 years, I'll say I've been in Just Plus for 30 years. This is going to be my second year. In November, I'm going to be two years in this company. It has been a blessing. So I want all of us to arise, especially us, our community, South Sudanese. You know, so many people give up on you guys for a reason. Because you guys don't believe in yourselves. You don't believe in yourselves and you're full of negativity. You're full of negativity. You don't want to see your sister grow. You don't want to see your brother grow. 
But if we can flip that negativity into positivity, that we all grow. Look at the West Africans. Guys, these people hold themselves, especially in our team, guys. They hold themselves together and they work as a team. You see, if you see Juice Plus, you see a lot of West Africans. Don't envy them all. These people are hustlers. They don't sleep. They work hard and they work as a team. They, you see, sometimes they do videos in their language. You see, the Igbos will come and do video in their Igbos. You see, the Yorubas are coming and doing video in the Yorubas. Where is our community? Where do you see the Dinka come and speak in Tomonja? Where do you see the Kakua come and do their videos in Kakua? Where do you see the, you know, the Anua come and do their videos in Anua? Where is that? Or where do you see us all come together and do video in Arabic? Dress in our, I don't know if we have any one traditional or we can wear something t-shirts with our flag. Where do you see that? We need to start to wake up and know that without team, we are nothing. We need to wake up and work together. Wake up. Don't sleep too long. Hey, other nationalities are waking up. Why are we not waking up? We need to wake up. We need to wake up and push. Time for working hard and hard and seeing nothing is over because i've seen the fruit of working smart so if i've seen the fruit of working smart you too can do it especially in our company compensation plan is for the same for everybody everybody who's at the top today they started just at the bottom common ground we all start down here and you work your way up slowly by slowly baby step baby step before you know it, you've cashed out that thirty thousand dollar in bonus so if I can do it, Reja can do it, Flora can do it, um, who else in this business? All my business partners can do it, you guys can do it. And even my business partners who, are, who have joined the business and you guys still don't see it, I just want to say, start doing something. Start posting every day. Go on my page. When you see me post something, post. Post, share, post, share consistency slowly by slowly people will pick up and they will see what you're doing and because they see you posting you that means that your store is open and then people will start picking interest and wanting to know more about what you're doing so don't give up don't give up especially in this business there's no expiration there's a man who re who renewed his business every year for nine years every year and he had no team members he was a partner and he renewed his business for nine good years and today he's at the top he today he's at the top today he has team members he has business partners he has customers today he's at the top if that man can renew his business for nine years while he's still down here you can do it nothing is impossible you guys can do it don't give up Stay positive. Surround yourself with people that actually want to see you grow, not people that drag you down. Surround yourself with positive mindset people. Surround yourself with, you know, uh, like-minded people, people that think alike, people that, you know, people that are not telling you, oh, let's go party next week. We're going to turn up and drink 10 beers. No, surround yourself with people that say, oh my God, next year I'm going to Florida. Next year I'm going to, you know, I'm going to South Sudan. Or next year I'm going for business meeting. Surround yourself with such people because you are going to grow. I am telling you guys, spiritually, mentally, everything about you, it's going to grow. Why? Because you're feeding your soul every day. You're hanging around people that have ideas, people that want to elevate, people that want to grow. You have to surround yourself. I am telling you guys, if you continue surrounding yourself with people that have no vision, people that are not moving, they don't care about tomorrow, they don't care about the next five years, you're not going nowhere. That is just a fact. You're not going nowhere. You have to start hanging around people that actually brings the best out of you. And because they bring the best out of you, you find yourself your own more fire and you just want to keep going because somebody is bringing the best out of you. So surround yourself with like-minded people, people that want to see you grow, not people that envy you, not people that jealous you, not people that go and gossip behind your back and say, oh, she thinks she's this. And then in front of you, oh, you're my best friend, best friend, nonsense. Surround yourself with people that actually say, I'm so happy for you. I'm proud of you, sis. Keep going in whatever you're doing. Keep going. I got your back. That is the kind of person you want to surround yourself with. So I think I've talked too much. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. 
I will stop here. Uh, I just came to celebrate. Thank you so much. Keep your advice to our families and friends. God bless you. Thank you, Ruben. God bless you too. I really want to see our community grow. I want to see, do something. Even if you're not just doing Be Juice Plus, there's so many other businesses that you just have to learn to be consistent, be patient, and keep watering your business. So if you choose today that you want to do Juice Plus, you know, it's great too. If you choose that you want to do another online business, you find inspiration in this video, go for it. Don't stop. Don't hold yourself. If you feel like you've been wanting to do a business, start off your business, and you've been scared, you've not been believing in yourself, negative mind thoughts have been in your mind telling you, I don't think I'm going to have customers. I don't think my business is going to grow. And if you find inspiration in this video, I want to say go ahead and start that business. Start that business. Even though when you don't know where it's taking you, just start it and have the passion. Have the drive for it and make it work and you will do it and say in two years i'm gonna make this in two years my business is going to grow in three years my i'm going to open another branch in three years i'm gonna have employees and i'm gonna hire my own people you have to start somewhere nobody starts from the top we all start somewhere and then we have to find our way to the top ask any successful person they will tell you the struggles they will tell you it wasn't easy but they did it they just came to work and they made it happen so nothing starts start somewhere. If you find this video, you find an inspiration and you feel touched and you want to do something about your life and you feel like Juice Plus is not for you, but you have something in your heart. There's a business you want to start. Go for it. Begin it. Even if you don't know where it's taking you, start in your basement. Start in your business in your business. In your basement. Start in your basement, in your basement guys. You don't know where it will take you. You don't need to open a store to start a business. Start somewhere. If you have, if you have a gift of designing clothes, you, you want to style people, you have a good taste in clothes, I say buy the clothes, sell them in your basement. If you know how to sell, uh, you know how to make worker, ground the worker instead of us waiting worker in Juba, start grounding your own worker, start in your business, in your basement. You never know. Basement from basement might take you to, you know, to a bigger store. You may have your own convenience store one day, but start somewhere. Don't say, I want, don't start up there. Start down here and walk your way up. When you have enough, when you start in your basement, save that money. When you have enough and you feel like now you can open a store, then you go for it. But don't start from the top because you're going to collapse. Because there's rent that need to be paid. There's so many others. You need capital. You need all these things. Don't start at the top. You start at the bottom. And you walk your way up. Let's look at uh, Sally's Beauty. This store, I'll always talk about it because I've watched this store grow in Marlboro Mall. That today they have expanded to three other to two other malls. So this store, Sally's Beauty, if you guys buy your hair at Sally's Beauty, this store started in those boots. You know, if you go to Marlboro, like those tents, like where you have that just small area. They started with this small area, guys where they had few pieces of hair that was back in 2014 i believe is when i came across these people when i knew that this you know this mall uh in, in this this store in the mall and look from 2014 that i've actually discovered them 2014 to today's do you know how many stores they've expanded they're now in marlboro they're they're now from that small small boot they have moved to a store they have now a nice store in the mall and then they uh, they expanded to sandwich mall they expanded they opened a branch in cross iron mall these people they are inspiration because it they are proof that nothing starts big you start somewhere don't start up there let's start at the bottom and work your way up there and when you start from the bottom, your struggles, you face them when you're at the bottom. And as you continue to work hard and push hard in your business, before you know it, you're expanding everywhere. You go, Viola, and all of you in business. God bless you guys. I am taking Juice Plus and it's helping me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's my mom. That's my mother-in-law. Thank you, mama. I love you. I'm happy. And you know what? <laughs> It just must always be on me because I know the benefits and I know that you it will really benefit you. So I'm happy it's helping you and God bless you. Thank you so much for your word. Thank you so much, everybody. So as I say, if you find this video inspiring, start somewhere. Start somewhere today. It doesn't matter what business you choose to go into today. Go and start it. And when you start it, don't sleep. 
Don't just sleep and, and wait for money to come into your account. You actually put in the work. Sacrifice. Have sleepless nights. Be open for your business. Keep praying and interceding and for God to open your business, open doors to your business. For God to bring people from left and right to lift up your business. So thank you guys. Hey, Evelyn, thank you so much for tuning in. I only came here to celebrate my mama. I don't know how I ended up here, but God is good. And this is why I love to flow in the spirit. I don't prepare myself because I like to just flow. And somebody may think, oh, she has prepared all day to come and give this speech. I don't prepare. I love to flow in the spirit. And if anything that aligns with you and you feel touched and you feel blessed in your heart that today you want to do something with your life, go for it and trust in God. I will say put God at the center of it. Pray over it or ask God to give you directions and you are going to nail it. So thank you guys so much. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. I'm going to be sharing my story basically inspire other people motivate people because i believe that by sharing your story you can also motivate someone who's in the business or someone who's thinking to join the business but them hearing your story it can change their mindset it can real it can make them realize their world and how much it's in them so 10 a.m tomorrow calgary time we are going to be having our event that is taking place tomorrow this is going to be my first time, guys, host being a guest as a guest speaker on the regional event and then on August 9th. So my schedule for August is like I have on August 7th and then on August 9th. August 9th, one of the business partners wants me to come and just bring this fire to her team. And you know what? As I said, this is a ministry. If whatever I'm going to say is going to uplift someone's spirit to run again in their business, I am in for it. Uh, and this is the beauty of a business. Connect us from pe with people from all over different types of walks of life. So I'm excited. Looking forward for tomorrow. I'll keep you guys updated if I'm going to be going live on Facebook or if not. Um, but yeah, if you want the, um, what do you call the Zoom ID call, just inbox me and I can, in I can send you the, the number, the ID number that you can join in and attend the event otherwise you guys have a beautiful night once again happy one year anniversary mama reja keep the fire burning keep inspiring um everybody in your business and more people to come in your organization keep inspiring them and let them know hey we gotta work towards our retirement we got this and we can do it time to work smart thank you guys so much for tuning in this was just to appreciate to come and celebrate to recognize our boss lady in the building. She's the eldest in my team. And I honor her. I respect her. And I cherish her. So BC time at 9 a.m. Good night. Awesome. 9 a.m. Ruben. So BC time, 9 a.m. Make sure you join. I'll repost again the Zoom ID so that you guys can join and see how many people are actually in this business from Kawajat, uh, Aizol for business. Then. So thank you guys so much. I talk too much, I know, and I'm going to exit now. Thank you all for watching and have a blessed night. If this video have touched you and you would like to be part of our family, you would love to join this positive community of like-minded people who wants to win, who wants to see themselves grow, who wants to be able to one day to have their own charity organization for their community. Come and join Join us. It is free of charge right now until August 31st. So come and join us. No regrets. Come and put in the time. Come and put in the effort. Come with the fire that you have. I don't know what is your reasons. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're struggling with. But come and rewrite your story. And you know what? You will go from nobody to somebody. Where people will honor you. People will respect you. Even those who laugh at you, they'll begin to honor you. And they'll begin to respect you. Because what? You did it. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night. Bye. <laughs> so much energy. I don't know what to do with it. But thank you guys. God bless you all. Bye.